everyone, and welcome to the Political Job Interview, where I interview candidates running for election. I'm Vincenzo Calla, the host, and today I take on the role as the boss, giving a job interview to today's candidate, Tanya Hine. Tanya is running for election for Ottawa City Council as a candidate for Ward 6, Stittsville. Thank you, Tanya, for your time, and thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Vincenzo. I'm really happy to be here. It's great to have you here, and without further ado, let's get this job interview started. Okay. So as with any good job interview, I'm going to start off with an opportunity to learn more about Tanya. So first question is, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your story? Sure. I am a mother of four really active sons, and we are all active in our community, which is how I grew up. Uh, my grandmother was very much into community service, and it's something that I've tried to instill in my boys as well. So we're all very um, active in, com in community in Stittsville. Um, I'm personally involved with school council, with the Ottawa Neighborhood Watch citywide board, with the Goldburn Museum Board of Directors, and the Stittsville Village Association. So uh, that's a lot of involvement. I wanted to ask you now, um, why have you decided to run for this position? What made you want to run for councillor of Stittsville? That's really an interesting question. You know, when I've been doing all this volunteer work, um, of course, a lot of it is based around the planning and development issues, the growth that we're seeing in Stittsville. And so I'm attending community meetings. I'm talking to people in the community just to see, you know, their, their takes on things. And there have been a lot of frustrations around the growth. It's not that everyone's against growth. It's sometimes just a matter of, you know, the zoning that's in place right now isn't matching what's in the official plan. And then people aren't able to understand what's going to be happening in the empty lot next to them or to the um, spaces behind their homes. And so there's a little bit of confusion there. And so I've found that as a volunteer, you can go to the meetings, you can submit your comments to City Hall, you can um, present as a delegation at committee and council, but I'm running into a wall as to what I can achieve as a volunteer. And so I'd like to take that next step to serve the community. I want to take a bit of time now to talk about the job and uh, really what you bring to it. So I want to ask you, what experience do you bring to this job? I know you mentioned a lot of your work, but maybe what is some experience that you find important that you're bringing to this job? I think just an overall familiarity with one, the community of Stittsville. Um, like I said, I've been here since 2005 with my family, and I've been involved directly with a lot of different groups and causes, and I've had a chance to watch the development. There was literally a, a small town that sprung up behind my house you know, shortly after we moved here. So it's been interesting to watch that transition and see it happening. So I have that knowledge of the community. I've been able to participate um, on so many different levels straight from the community meetings. I've, I'm a regular at committee and at council. It's been really great having the um, online meetings. So I've been able to take in almost all the committee meetings and council meetings. That's uh, really given me a little bit of an extra view of what's been happening, you know, for Stittsville and citywide as well. And so I'm, you know, I'm able to bring that experience, um, those times that I've done the research, that I've made the presentations to committee. I think that's all valuable. And uh, continuing on that note, I want to ask you now, what sets you apart from all of the other candidates who are running? I think my longevity of service in the community sets me apart from some of the others. And that's not to say, you know, that they're good or bad. I'm focusing on my campaign, but the longevity of my service, the variety of um, things that I've been involved with, I think have given me a, a real leg up in terms of just knowledge of what's happening in the community. And then again, that confidence to understand how City Hall is working. Part of serving as an elected official is serving the people who elect you. So here are a few questions about how you want to serve the people. And uh, I know these are some longer ones. If you want to take a bit more time answering these ones, go ahead. And uh, the first one is, what is something or a few things that you want uh, that the people you would like to serve, the people of Stittsville need, that you want to get done if you're elected? There have been a few issues that keep coming up when I'm knocking on doors. Um, Primarily, I'm hearing a lot about speeding, um, traffic safety, and of course, when we're talking about that, no one wants anyone hurt, right? It's not that we object to cars necessarily going quickly, it's the potential impacts that are problematic. So I want to make sure that our new neighborhoods going forward are designed properly, designed with safety in mind 
designed so that we have separate facilities for um, cycling for pedestrians to make sure that we don't have as many interactions between automobiles and cyclists and pedestrians with safety in mind. Um, in existing neighborhoods, again, that's a little bit harder, but there are things that we can do with, with paint, with temporary traffic calming measures to try and slow down the traffic and make it safer and accessible for everyone. So that's one issue. Transit is another big one that comes up a lot. It's really difficult in the context of hearing 15 minute neighborhoods, which is a wonderful concept and something I would like to see in Stittsville, but it's really difficult to convince people that they don't need a car or that they don't need to use an autom automobile as often as they do when we don't really have a functional alternative with OC Transpo. Um, our cycling infrastructure, like I said, it's a little bit disjointed and disconnected. Pedestrian infrastructure, again, it's not as great as it could be either. We have some, you know, our sidewalks are crooked. Sometimes they switch from one side of the road to another. There's a lot of uh, connectivity issues. But just going back to transit, I think it's really imperative that we have good uh, service within the neighborhood, for one, because OC Transpo isn't just a commuter service. It has to serve people who want to visit a friend in the neighborhood, get groceries, um, make it to a doctor's appointment. I want to have that sort of functionality where you don't have to think too much about planning your trip on the bus. You can just hop on because you know it's going to be at the stop fairly frequently, fairly reliably. That's the dream. <laughs> and uh, so I'd like to see that so that we have a better option for uh, residents in Stittsville to ditch their vehicles and uh, rely a little bit more on active transportation and rely on public transportation as a real alternative. Well, I live in Barhaven and Barhaven, Stittsville, Canada, um, all these suburbs are pretty similar in the fact of we have our big box re retailers in a sort of a, a center area, a central area. And if you live near there, great. If you don't, you're far for walking or cycling. And um, there's a lot of, like you said, a lot of infrastructure that still needed to be upgraded, a lot of infrastructure that needs to be built and created to have that 15 minute community built up. And uh, there's a lot of talks about that this election and uh, something that I'm sure will be a priority uh, going forward into the next uh, next term of council in the next four years. And I hope so. Yeah, I, I, I think so. I think there's a lot of talk about it. So uh, it'll be interesting to see for sure. And finally, I wanted to ask, what is one accomplishment that you have achieved that demonstrates why you'll be a good elected official if the people were to choose you? I think one of the accomplishments that I'm most proud of is the seven years that I spent as president of Stittsville Village Association. It gave me a really in-depth knowledge, uh, primarily of the planning and development issues, of how city budgeting plays into different decisions that are made, just how much council decisions and city business touches our day-to-day -day life. You know, when we turn on the lights, when we take a bus, when we see a street light come on, when we toss our trash, uh, you know, or recycling and take it out to the curb, those are all city services. And so there's a direct impact day-to-day -day on our lives. So uh, yeah, that's a, that's a big one there. So thank you, Tanya, so much for your time. It was it was so great having you join me today. I'm sure the viewers have enjoyed hearing what you have to offer to them. Um, election day is October 24th, 2022. And if you liked hearing what Tanya Hine had to say and live in Ward 6, Stittsville, you have the opportunity to vote for her on election day. Check with the local election officials for more details. To stay updated, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at BC Productions 25. Check out my website, VincenzoCala.com. Make sure to like, subscribe, and just get notifications here on YouTube. The political job interviews of eCala production. So until the next video, I'm Vincenzo Cala, signing out.